On September 1st, a video went viral of a man stealing a baseball thrown to a group of young softball players at a Nationals game. Fans took to social media to let the guy know that he was uh, a no-good jerk face, in lighter terms. But the fielder who threw that ball sought one of the girls, 10-year-old Avery, to personally sign a ball and write a letter thanking her for her fandom. That's likely a moment she'll never forget, and it's all thanks to a little extra effort from a major leaguer. It makes sense why he'd do something like that, though. That player was Joey Manessis, and he's become something of a surprise star for the basement-dwelling Washington Nationals. Those Nationals came close to competing last season before falling apart at the trade deadline, and rumors have swirled since then that the team would do a full teardown in 2022. That came to fruition this year, with the Nationals selling like hotcakes at the deadline, specifically a blockbuster deal sending Juan Soto to the San Diego Padres. Washington acquired a haul of young prospect talent, including top prospect CJ Abrams, who's been manning shortstop for them since this transaction went down. We won't see many of those prospects come to the bigs for another couple years, but this mass exodus paved the way for many Washington farmhands to reach the big leagues for the first time, one of them being Joey Manessis. Manessis isn't your average rookie, though, as the first time big leaguer finally got his shot just a few months after turning 30 years old. Baseball is an ageist sport for sure, but it kind of makes sense why. The game moves fast, and it's 162 games. As you inch closer to 40 years old, your time just dwindles. Unless you're, you know, Albert Pujols. How does he have 23 home runs? I think that's what makes Manessis' story so great. He entered amateur ball as a 19-year-old in 2011 and got tossed around for over a decade. But he never lost sight of his eventual end goal, which is making the big leagues. Better yet, now that he's made it, he's making sure he's here to stay, as he's been the Nationals' best hitter since his call-up in early August. Since that call-up on August 2nd, Joey Manessis has registered a 160 weighted runs created plus, which is a stat that takes into account a hitter's ability to get on base and hit for total bases, and a adjusts it based on the park that the hitter plays in, placing it on a metered scale where a value of 100 is considered to be league average. Therefore, his 160 value was 60% better than league average, and that's the second highest total in the National League through this stretch, only trailing a likely MVP winner in Cardinals first baseman Paul Goldschmidt. During this stretch of over 50 games, Manessis also has the second best batting average at 327, second best slugging percentage at 578, and third highest home run total in the National League at 13 in a similar class with elite talents like Manny Machado, JT Real Muto, and Jeff McNeil in each of those categories. Not for nothing, but the old Nationals first baseman Josh Bell, who went to the Padres, hasn't hit all too well since his departure either, making Manessis look all the better. But this is the high point of Manessis' decade-plus long journey. How did we get here in the first place? He was signed as an undrafted minor league free agent by the Atlanta Braves back in 2011, and in his second year at rookie ball, he hit over 341 games, albeit with no home runs. But even with splitting extra time playing in the Mexican Pacific League, it took Manessis until 2015 to finally get promoted to high A. The transition was initially rough in 2015, but in 2016, Manessis made his way to double A after hitting 342 with 24 extra base hits in 66 games. However, after struggling at the beginning of his tenure at that level, the progress Manessis showed in 2017 simply wasn't enough for the Braves, and Atlanta finally decided to cut ties with him after six years in the minor league system. But 2018 was finally his year. Picked up by the Philadelphia Phillies and promoted to AAA, Manessis absolutely raked. In 130 games, Manessis ripped 23 home runs and 27 doubles, batting over 300 and slugging over 500 at Lehigh Valley for the Iron Pigs. Manessis' efforts won him the International League MVP award that season, a high honor, the same award won by Reese Hoskins just a year prior. But that ended up being the problem for Manessis. While he was breaking out, Reese Hoskins was establishing himself as the first baseman of the future in Philadelphia. With right field already being taken up by Bryce Harper as well and no option for a designated hitter, the Phillies' hands were tied, and despite his MVP caliber season at the highest level of the minors, the Phillies released Joey Manessis. Shockingly, he couldn't find a suitable major league offer anywhere after this, after winning MVP. So his next stop was for Japan, where he signed a near $1 million deal to play in the Nippon Professional Baseball League for the Oryx Buffaloes. But after hitting just a smidge over the Mendoza line at 206, he was busted for a banned substance called Hydroxy Stands Hydroxy Stands Hydroxy. Roxy Stanzo LOL. 
Nailed it. Nailed it. He received a year-long ban and an immediate release. He contends that he was unknowingly injected with the substance when a doctor in Mexico gave him vitamins the previous winter. Since then, Manessis has bounced around some more. Back to Mexico, then to the Red Sox, only to have the 2020 minor league season canceled, resulting in another release. By this time, Manessis was 29 years old, finishing his 10th year in amateur ball with an inconsistent record and some troubled history with possible performance-enhancing drugs. Many guys probably would have called it quits a long time ago at that point with that record, but maybe that's why Manessis kept at it. You're already 10 years deep, you might as well keep going. As we all know now, he landed with the Nationals AAA affiliate in Rochester for the 2022 season, and unsurprisingly, he raked. Posting numbers similar to his 2018 MVP season in AAA, Manessis clubbed 20 home runs in under 100 games with an OPS well over 800. So by the time the Nationals decided to clean house, Manessis made perfect sense as a candidate for the why the hell not type call up to the major leagues. And he made that decision look great almost immediately, homering off Yoan Lopez of the New York Mets in his very first major league start. Poor guy's first at bat ever though was against Jacob deGrom in his first start in over a year. That's just ridiculously unlucky timing. But after a dozen years and nearly 5,500 plate appearances in amateur and foreign baseball, Joey Manessis had finally climbed the mountain. He followed that performance up by homering in each of the Nationals' three games at Wrigley Field against the Cubs as part of a five-game multi-hit streak. From August 5th to the 30th, Manessis hit safely in 20 of 21 games, with multiple hits in 10 of those games. Lucky first month? Nah, not just beginner's luck. The first game of September, Manessas kicked off his second month in the big leagues by hitting a walk-off three-run homer against the A's. From September 1st to October 1st, he registered 11 multi-hit games and 26 tries, including four games of three hits or more. He homered off former AL Cy Young winner Robbie Ray, oh, and add an inside-the-park home run to that list too for good measure. He's already done so much and he's only been here for two months. Manessas became the 11th oldest rookie in 2022 baseball, with the oldest being 32-year-old left fielder Jason Creason of the San Francisco Giants, who got three games of run in late April. Of rookies who are 30 or more years old to make their debut this season, Manessis' 1.2 war is second highest only to 31-year-old Robert Suarez, who's become one of the most reliable relievers in the Padres' bullpen this season. This is incredibly impressive for both of these guys. But it's not just about climbing that aforementioned mountain and taking a peek from the top. Every big leaguer wants to make sure they stay there, ensuring they won't begin their descent to the bottom before they're ready. We've seen first how cruel a sophomore year awakening can be, with fan favorite Frank Schwindel regressing from his initial rookie outburst with the 2021 Cubs. In the same vein, however, plenty of great Major League ball players have hit their stride as a late bloomer. Though he got more early playing time than Manessas, Raul Ibanez had his first real great season as a 29-year-old in Kansas City, and the dude went on to play for 19 years total and hit over 300 home runs. Longtime Orioles third baseman Melvin Mora didn't have his first great season until he was 30 years old, and he played for 10 more seasons after that, so it's certainly in the cards for Joey Manessis. He's in plenty of elite company, not with just those fellow old heads, though. In his first 50 career MLB games, Manessis tallied 68 hits with 13 home runs. Only four other MLB players have ever accomplished that, a list including former MVP Ryan Braun, former MVP Orlando Cepeda, and former MVP Willie McCovey. Manessis's transformation is akin to many who are a part of a hitting revolution in recent years, as he's raised the average vertical height of his launch angle drastically. He's known for having a great contact bat, but now he's lifting the ball a lot more. And he's also improved his plate discipline during his adjustment to MLB pitching. He cut his whiff rate on sliders, his worst pitch against, by 8% from August to September. In August, he slugged 211 against sliders, and in September, he slugged 579. A high batting average on balls in play of 374 suggests there will be some sort of regression down the line for Manessas, and all these statistics are from a small sample. His expected statistics on batting average and slugging outweigh his actual values almost completely across the board. The numbers simply don't believe in this feel-good story, and it's hard to blame them considering the track record of minor league journeyman past. Like his entire professional career, the odds are certainly stacked against Joey Manessis. But he looks incredibly well-rounded. He's batting over 300 versus sinkers and changeups, over 400 against four-seam fastballs, and over 500 against curveballs. His 26.2 line drive percentage is sixth in MLB since his debut, just .01% below some guy named Aaron 
judge. He's got four homers to his pull side, five to straightaway center, and five to the opposite field, so he's spreading the ball everywhere. His exit velocity percentile ranks among some of the best hitters in the league, and most of all, he's been consistent throughout these two months of playing time. If not for the Braves' class of stud rookies, including Michael Harris II and Spencer Strider, I actually think we'd hear Joey Manessis' name pop up way more in the Rookie of the Year conversation. The Nationals' rebuilding plan looks like it's going to take quite a long time, which means that Manessis could likely find something of a home in Washington for next season as well. So hopefully this video on him ages well. I'm hoping it does because as exciting as it is to watch the new crop of young stars get the call and begin their big league journey, there are plenty of guys that don't get that top prospect label. Fair or not, the guys of that class who don't get as easy of a ticket have to work that much harder. And I have no doubts that Joey Manessis busted his ass the past dozen years to finally get the recognition that he deserves. I don't know when the Nationals will be good again, but I do know that they have plenty of fun position players now that you should definitely keep your eye on. At the top of that short list is undoubtedly Joey Manessis, who is a certified good dude. Remember that ball he gave to that fan? Keep it up, dude. And now a word from today's sponsor, Roman. Guys, we need to begin prioritizing our hygiene and well-being more than anything else. And a great place to take care of your health is Roman. Whether it's for ED, testosterone support, men's hair loss, or whatever else you can think of health-related, Roman is a great place to get the resources that you need to fix yourself. Sexual health is hard to talk about, but it's just as important as everything else. And if you want to get at the top of your game, products like Roman Swipes can be very helpful. They're convenient, over-the-counter wipes that are clinically proven to help you last longer in bed. Uniquely formulated to reduce overstimulation without eliminating all sensation together. But Roman is great for getting multivitamins, COVID tests, health supplements, allergy medication, stress relief medication, and help to quit smoking. And it's not just physical health. Roman can help you with your mental health as well, specifically anxiety and depression. I highly recommend you go to GetRoman.com Jolly today to get 20% off your first order. Try their swipes, get yourself some vitamins, but most importantly, get yourself right. That's GetRoman.com Jolly for 20% off, and thank you to them for sponsoring today's video. I'll see you guys next time.